So if you've seen the most recent video, you'll know that Narrator 25 in the Showcase series will be Michael Brandon. Most viewers will know that Michael Brandon is often viewed as one of the worst, if not the worst, Thomas and Friends narrator the series has ever seen. Since I'm covering him in October, I'd like to give my opinions on him. First, I'd like to give a quick brief history, a history that everybody knows. Thomas and Friends makes its debut in 1984 with Ringo Starr, who is later exported to North America for Shining Time Station in 1989. In 1991, Season 3 is made, and since Ringo has other career ideas, they bring in George Carlin in America and Michael Angelis in the UK. His name's Nigel. It was going to happen. It's to be expected. Cliché jokes, ideal opportunities, serious unoriginality, you understand. They joined for Season 3, including George re-narrating Seasons 1 and 2 for Shining Time Station, and continued on to Season 4. When Season 5 arrived in 1998, Michael Angelis remained while George left for familiar territory and was replaced by the actor Alec Baldwin. I think he's a great actor, but I never would have pegged him as having narrator material. It would only follow with season 6. People say season 6 is the beginning of the downfall. I still believe it's a really good season, but to be fair, I grew up with Michelangelis. In America, Alec Baldwin was still narrating, and you'd only have to spend 10 minutes listening to both Season 5 and Season 6 back-to-back -back and realise that Alec's enthusiasm in his performance had dropped 150%. Narration-wise, Season 6 is the most boring season the American viewers has ever experienced. You'll listen to A Better View for Gordon and then Twin Trouble in Season 6, and you'll be able to tell Alec was just there for a paycheck. He just did not give a shit, and it shows when he left after Season 6 and was replaced by the man of the hour, Michael Brandon. I share a similar opinion to him as I do towards Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Some people think that is the absolute worst Sonic game ever made. I maintain an opinion that it's not super great, but it's hardly terrible. In the nine years he held the role of narrator, I claim Michael's time was in between average and possibly enjoyable and certainly not the worst thing I've ever experienced when it comes to Thomas and Friends. I've actually ranked my top 10 worst Thomas and Friends narrators before, and Michael Brandon is nowhere on that list. I'm not out to change anyone's minds on Michael here, but I can only think of three reasons why people would dislike him, and I'd like to express my views and why I may or may not agree with them. Number 1. Comparison People would probably say that George was a better narrator than Michael. Some would even say that he sucks compared to George. That does not necessarily mean Michael is automatically terrible. Manfred Steffen from Germany is one of my all-time favourite narrators in the entire series, and I would say any day that he's better than Sky Dumont, his successor. That does not strictly mean I think Sky sucks. I actually think he's a really good narrator with a relaxing tone. I just think Manfred is better. The same thing could be said about Michael, just because you think someone else is better, that doesn't automatically mean the other person sucks. Number 2. Episode Quality Michael joined the show in 2003, the exact same year Hit Entertainment purchased Ghislaine and essentially bought the rights to Thomas and Friends. That is also the same year Season 7 began, a season people often claim was rather underwhelming and very similar in quality to Seasons 8 through 16. These people would also relate these beliefs to the opinion of Michael Brandon being a terrible narrator. This belief is also shared with Michael Angelus. People also think he was a really bad narrator post season 6. But guys, you have to realise it all depends on what the executives and the voice directors want. If they think they've heard something that won't suit, they'll ask for a retake. Michael recorded his lines, but he had no real control over what made the cut. Which brings us to... Number 3. His voices. Character voices are often part of a narrator's repertoire. Angelus did them. Ha! If I came upon a tree, I'd just push it aside. Carlin did them. You had a cough in your smoke box yesterday. It's your fault the diesel came. Even Baldwin did them. I am the finest engine on the island of Sodor. Probably the finest in the world. Michael Brandon did them, and they're not so popular. Unlike the last two options, I could potentially agree with this one. I'll admit, Michael did a few voices badly. Steaming pistons, who's that? That there is such a hammy performance. But on the other hand, if the skill of a narrator was determined by their character voices, people would view Ringo as a terrible narrator. We all love Ringo to death. He's the most iconic and well-known narrator, and a big part of all our childhoods. 
But let's face it, character voices are pretty much non-existent with him. And then there's Mark Morahan. He's a good narrator, and since we now have a voice cast, he did even less when it comes to character voices. When it comes to Michael Brandon, people have really praised his Diesel voice, which no doubt impressed a voice director or two, as he retained this role in the CGI series when characters received their own voice actors. To this day, as far as I know, he is one of only five narrators to also receive character roles, the others being Aku Lightning of the Finnish dub, Simchar Barbero in the Hebrew dub of Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and Vladimir Antonik and Denis Bispali of the Russian dub. What impresses me most about Michael Brandon is his enthusiasm. He seemed to really enjoy his job. When Alec Baldwin returned for season 6, he lost virtually all enthusiasm and his narration verged on boredom. I find his half-assed take on season 6 far more offensive than Michael's debatably bad character voices. One thing I'd like to take note of is how Michael's performance as a narrator actually differs from other narrators. When I look at any other English narrator, I hear someone narrating a TV series. When I hear Michael Brandon, I hear someone who sounds like he's literally telling a story to a group of children surrounding him. I do genuinely hear that scenario in his distinctive tone and vocal mannerisms. And when you think about it, seasons 7 and 8 were in that time when Hit Entertainment tried to personalise and engineer the show to appeal more to children, hence the learning segments in the majority of TV endings at the time. So in a way, awkward character voices aside, that makes Michael Brandon the most technically accurate narrator in the entire series. Michael Angelus is my favourite narrator in the entire series, and even I'd say Michael Brandon performs for the kids better. I honestly cannot call Michael Brandon the worst narrator in the series, because barring a few iffy character voices, I really can't see that much wrong with him. He's not super good, but there are actually many narrators I'd say are worse. Stefan Noth, Pierce Brosnan, Vladimir Jerk, Diego Brizzi, Alec Baldwin, Tomislav Stokovic, Aku Leitinen, and Mikola Kozi, just to name a few. That's all I can really say guys, unlike a fair few Thomas and Friends fans out there, I really don't think he's that bad. Stay tuned for his showcase coming October 8th.